Hello, my marvelous muses. How we doing, guys? So, uh, today is Viewer's Choice Saturday. Uh, I put a poll out on Thursday, I believe it was, and the beach theme tray won. So, um, I don't really have a good... I have a big, big tray. Big, big tray, but I don't want to pour one that big. And then I had a little small oval ones, but I wanted something a little more flat. I didn't want something necessarily with an edge on it so I took some silicone uh, caulking and I made my own uh, I've never done this before I'm assuming it's gonna work uh, we're gonna try it it's not pouring very deep anyway and if nothing else it'll be a freestyle one so um, I'm gonna do three different colors of blue here the colors are so hard to read on here uh, violet blue blue and light blue um, and then I have some sand and some shells and some little shells and starfish and stuff and we're gonna put some of that in there I also got some sea glass I think I might put a couple pieces of that in there as well we're just gonna make a fun beach theme tray today uh, I've already mixed up my resin I mixed up uh, what do I have here four ounces so I've got four ounces of resin We are going to mix this, and I actually should have put my mica in first, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put the mica in the others here. I'll sprinkle this one in. Okay. Now, on this one, I'm going to mix the rest of these. I'm going to mix the mica, put the mica in the cup first. Because if not, it's easier to mix that way than pouring your mica in after the fact because then it goes everywhere. Kind of puffs up on you and ends up all over the side. And we got this cover here. I don't need a lot of each one because I'm going to kind of layer them as water. Alright, I'm going to save the rest here for my sand, my beach, my beachy beach. Alright, so we're going to mix this one up. This is a light blue. Okay, see it here. Got my light blue here. If I need to give this a top coat, we'll give it a top coat. If not, we'll leave it like it is. We'll see how it works. This one here. This is the blue. Very pretty color. Very pretty color. So I see a bunch of guys have joined a Facebook group. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have everybody. up some sand for my beach because I feel like if I put my sand at one end first and kind of put it where I want it it's gonna make it where it kind of stays where I put it a little more Taking my sand and using a spoon here. The sand I have is my sand box refill. It's a little bag I got off of Amazon. 
It's a nice peachy color. resin to our sand. I'm going to keep a little bit of clear just in case I need it for something. To mix up something else or if I want to add more color, I may, I think I'm going to add a bit of white. Very, very little white. That white takes way over. Dump our sand out here. that so far. So I think I'm going to start adding, no, I'm going to do the color first. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to do this violet blue up here in this end. I mean, a little bit of clear right along this edge. Okay. And we're going to take this blue again. up a little bit here. all this resin. I don't want to waste any of it. Don't want to waste any of it. Now, I want to add 
get to it here. Gonna put some sea glass in it. A couple pieces of sea glass. do some more here I have a whole bunch of seashells here we're gonna put a few of these on the beach Give him a buddy. I think he needs a friend. We're gonna give him a friend. And I think I wanted to put a little sparkle in this. So. I'm going to put some of this in my blue, and I think I might put a little bit of this blue stones in here. Ah. Ah, tape sticking in my hands. Oh, and the wood burning thing, guys. Just so you know, everybody was saying I should have used a heat gun on it. I have a heat gun. I have a good heat gun. But in the picture here, it shows flame. Shows they're using a lighter to do it. And uh, so I actually took the same piece that I had done last night. I tried the heat gun on it. It did nothing. I thought, well, maybe it's because it had dried on there. So I did another one while it was still wet. Tried the heat gun. Still nothing. And what I think the issue might be, I think the issue is if the pins aren't, I mean, I'm granted they came from Timu, so I'm not. I don't know that they are going to be the best quality, obviously, but uh, I feel like part of it is also the wood that I use, because that is that, it's not even real wood, it's like the, kind of like the glue wood stuff, and I feel like that that made it burn easier, maybe, I don't know, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, these might just sink into nothing. <coughs> okay, so we're going to put those there. Also going to take some glitter. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a spoon. along the way here.
I might put some gold flecks in the fan too. Ooh, maybe some. Yeah, some gold, I think. Maybe it's some gold. Kind of got white, but I thought, well, white's probably not going to show up great. Probably won't show up through the red. There we go. I sprinkle some gold. Pretty, huh? Guys, I'm trying to stay positive today, I know. It's not going to be easy, and probably by the time this video posts, from the way they're talking, she's probably going to be gone. So, I figure I better, I wanted, I wanted to let you guys know that. So, if that happens... There won't be a video tomorrow night. I'm just going to let you guys know that. Uh, I don't want to take much more time than that off because you guys are my rock. You guys are, you know, I, I talk to you guys more than I talk to some of the people I know. Uh, so, yeah. Not a good thing. But she's going to be surrounded by people who love her. My brothers are there. My son's there. And, uh, yeah. Just not good. So I took my cast and craft and I mixed up just a tiny bit of white here. I think I need a little bit more now maybe. I don't know. I mean the tiniest bit of white guys because if you do too much white it will take over. bubble in my mat that I prepared for this on. I like to put some more resin over here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a straw And I use a straw to blow it around. You can use a heat gun too, but I might. For just something this small, I'm just using a straw. Because it will work just fine. Um, I'm going to pour some more resin right here. In hopes that this spot right here is going to cover up. Now let me...
Maybe, yeah, here we go. So if I put something out here, heavy, there we go. It holds down the mat right there. All right, what do we think, guys? What do we think? I feel like the, I know the sand's going to dry lighter, but I feel like the sand needs something else. I feel like it needs more something. Something. Here we go. We're going to try some white in it and see if this helps it. It is Snow White Medium Chunky. Sprinkle look in there too. Why not? Why not? More glitter, please. All right. Okay, I just got my hands with glitter all over it and it went everywhere. All right, guys. I'm gonna put the um, curing machine on here. I'm gonna cure this, and we'll be back to demold it later on this evening. Bye, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So, we're ready to demold. Still no news. Well, I can't say no news. Remember me telling you we had a cousin that was trying to locate because uh, my mom, we want to get the plot. We want to use the plot if he would say it was okay. We hadn't talked to him in a while. He was a little, we should say a little out there. I loved him, but he was kind of crazy. Very crazy, actually. But, uh, we found out he passed away in 2013. So, um, gonna get his death information, and my mother is next in line for the plots. There's two empty plots that he had access to, and my mother's in line for one of those. So, that's one good thing. She didn't want to be cremated, and we couldn't afford a plot, so. Bad thing is, you know, find out. It was her cousin. He was my second cousin. But he was, when I was young, he was a good guy, and I don't think he was quite as crazy, but he got older, and he got, like, really cuckoo. Like, he would walk down the street cussing, and, yeah, he kind of went a little out there. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get this off of here. I gotta get this silicone stuff off of here too. I'm just gonna take this off of here first. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. I'm gonna wet my fingers and I'm gonna wipe this off with this. With my fingers, because it's not completely cured. The silicone around the edge isn't hard but it's it becomes sticky unless you wet your fingers but if you wet your fingers you can like mold it and do whatever with it fingers. Sticky, sticky. Rain in here, guys. I apologize if you can hear the rain. Pounding on my metal roof. Okay, perfect. Yay. So, I 
Next we're going to use the baby wipe to try to wipe the edges of this off. Might have to let this stuff dry some to be able to get it all off. But yeah, the tray turned out really good. Aside from the fact I have the this stuff all over the back side of it here. Okay, I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to clean this up right quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So, I've got most of it cleaned off. There's still a little bit on the side. Once it dries, I'll finish picking it off. Um, but, yeah, this is a tray. Uh, I went on the bottom, and I put the little rubber feet on here. So, it sits up nice. The shell stands up. It's kind of a dimensional tray, but it's... Still, super cute beach theme tray. Viewer's choice. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. We make random trays. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to thank anybody who's bought me a coffee. Anybody who's bought anything off my Amazon wish list. If you purchased anything using one of my affiliate links, thank you very much for that as well. I appreciate y'all greatly. I appreciate y'all liking and subscribing. Coming over to the Facebook page. Uh, it's been fun getting to see how many people have already came over there. Uh, well, unless I get news tomorrow, we'll have a video tomorrow night. So, we'll see how things go. Uh, but for now, hope everybody has a wonderful night. Hope you guys are happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I hope all your resin projects cure beautifully. I hope your craft projects turn out amazing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.